Well, at 137 years old, the State Fair of Texas has plenty of history, along with more than a few mysteries. Signs of some of them are still visible, even today. Our Nicole Nielsen shows us five fun facts about the fair and fair park that may surprise you. This building is the third most historic building in the state of Texas, behind the Alamo and the state capitol. Let's start with the Hall of State. The city designed this building as a monument to Texas. In the middle is the Great Hall, with two giant murals depicting a timeline of Texas history. And you'd expect to see the Alamo up here. But what about American Airlines? One of the artists that was uh, hired by Eugene Savage was um, the nephew of C.R. Smith. C.R. Smith was a founder of American Airlines. At the time, the company was just 10 years old, but Smith's nephew wanted it sealed into state history. He painted himself into the mural and of him looking at the airplanes. It's interesting because that's kind of a shout out to his uncle. Next, we're taking you where most people are not allowed, to a room filled with history in the basement of the administration building. So this is from the 1936 collection. Among the stacks of state fair artifacts, a custom Stetson cowboy hat a machine that played the voice of big Tex, And photos, so many photos, including many of big Tex as you've never seen them before. We put up big Tex a lot different these days. <laughs> Even after 16 years of working for the fair, Jason Hayes says he hasn't seen everything in this room. This is really a bunker of Texas history, of Dallas history and it's all associated with the State Fair of Texas. Back outside, number three on our list is located down a side street on the way to the agricultural buildings. It's the Whoopus. The original sculpture was taken down for repairs in 1941. Then, before it could be reinstalled, it vanished, which sparked a lot of theories. Well, allegedly, there was a group of religious folks who thought it was satanic, and people feel like maybe it was uh, destroyed. They snuck in here and destroyed it. Others feel like maybe, as were some other features out here, melted down for, to help the war effort. Uh, I've read a story that somebody thinks it's buried in the back part of the fair somewhere. In any event, we don't know where it is. Decades later, a nonprofit raised enough money to commission a new whoopus. But another item that vanished was never replaced. It was known as the key to Fair Park. It was bejeweled. It was extravagant, $50,000 worth of jewels and gold. At nine inches long, it featured a 14-carat diamond, four strands of pearls, and more than 400 gems. After the fair closed in 1936, it spent years on display at a jewelry store in downtown Dallas, until one day. Suddenly, that heirloom was, was missing. According to the theft report filed in 1952, the world's most gorgeous and expensive key was thought to have been taken from the showcase. The store owner said, everyone thought the key was in our shop having a loosened pearl reset. 71 years later, it's still missing. But perhaps the biggest state fair mystery of all time is the case of the stolen shirt. And not just any shirt, a really, really big one. The year was 1970. Big Tex was getting new duds. Jack Bridges, the icon's creator, had the 150-pound shirt still in its box in the back of his pickup when he stopped to grab a sandwich. And when he came back out, the shirt was gone. Many suspected pranksters because who else would steal the size 97 extra long shirt? You couldn't take it to a pawn shop. I mean, what would you do with it? The Lee Company told fair officials there was no way they could make another one from scratch in time for the fair. Then a factory worker recalled that a second shirt had been cut out but never sewn together. Workers were called in on overtime, and 6,800 yards of thread later, a new shirt was rushed to Dallas. Big Tex was finally fully dressed just nine hours before the gates opened. In Fair Park, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas.